Hello and welcome to another ADT 2007 wall cleanups tutorial and we're talking about uh, wall component priorities. So um, once the um, wall lines cross each other um, they start to have a conversation about you know engaging in cleanup and you can review from our previous lesson. So when the walls or the baselines cross or even touch each other and we'll talk about this we've got a couple lessons to go they open up basically and there's a handshake on, on doing cleanups if if everything from the previous you know they're all at the same Z they're all uh, have automatic cleanup turned on they're all in the same cleanup group de definitions there's a checklist of things the walls go through and if they all um, are checked off then they engage in the cleanup once they engage in the cleanup they start comparing priorities between the materials what we're talking about here is um, within the wall styles themselves we have a component brick airspace insulation CMU each component has a priority uh, labeled to it and those priorities get compared so when two walls meet they more or less have a little discussion as you know uh, you know as if to say well what do you got well I've got you know a 1200 priority a 1000 and 900 and a 50 and this wall says oh well I've got you know a, a 300 or you know so they com start to compare the priorities similar priorities will clean up with each other and similar priorities will cut through the other objects notice this wall here cuts right through this wall it cleans up here because they're the same material or they're the same priority and the brick here stops and starts on either side because this has a higher priority than these objects okay we can look over here there's another wall style here and there's a just a stud wall well stud walls you know uh, have uh, the stud has a higher priority probably than this furring and, and and gypsum drywall but it doesn't have a higher priority than the CMU so it stops and starts again on the other side over here we've got a stud with two layers of um, drywall or gypsum wall board and we have one with just a stud well the studs cross nicely and do their cleanup quite nicely but the drywall here stops and starts on either side because this component has a higher priority okay so they start to compare priorities so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by maybe clicking on this wall or I can go up to my style manager through here but I'm gonna do it through here right click and go down to um, style manager edit wall style bumps me into the style manager and inside the style manager we have our different tabs we go to the components tab and I can click on here and I can wheel in okay if the, if you if you swivel this and it gets all kind of out of whack for you okay just right click go down to preset view set it back to be left again and then you'll have it so if we look at the different components in here I'm wheeling in we can see component one is the CMU which is the green you can see component two is this airspace uh, I think no stud or furring and the third component indexed here is gypsum wallboard so you can see the green 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 okay the different components now each component gets a name the name is really just for us to identify it really doesn't it's just a piece of text the big uh, important thing here other than our thicknesses and offsets of our walls is our priorities the highest priority is priority one the lowest priority is I think you know you can go up to five digits so generally up to about 2000 but you can make them what you want and I'll show you a table in a second so we have for instance we can see the gypsum wall board has a priority of 1200 meaning when it meets up with another wall it's not going to cut through anything to get to the other side it's just going to stop probably because you're not going to get too many things that have a higher priority than 1200 300 is getting down there generally your structural components will have your highest priority or rather your lowest priority number Okay. you'll notice standard wall style has a priority of one which means that it cuts through everything when it does its cleanup okay so if you actually hit the help menu inside of here we open up our help menu we can scroll down to the bottom here okay some information there always read up on that 
But down in here, default cleanup priorities for wall components. I'm going to click on there and it gives us a nice little dialog. Okay, the component priorities depends determines how each wall component cleans up with components of an intersecting wall. First, they have to intersect or touch each other or else we use a cleanup radius. We'll see that. But the main thing is, is when these two walls come together, you can see down inside of here, well, the number one is a priority of 300. Then the, the second component highest is the brick, which is a 410. And then the next one is the, seven, the 600. And finally, the air gap is at is at 700 so when this comes together you can see that this wall when it gets extended to here that's the result in cleanup and there's some more information here's a table of the recommended components and I think when you use the out of the box ADT wall styles they use these components you can see casework bulkheads up at the 1800 level your structural stuff will be down at two and three hundred so concrete so these are just numbers you basically picked out of the air it doesn't mean anything and they just gap them in hundreds so that you have lots of room in between like you might have a gypsum you know um uh, a half inch a three quarter inch a five eighths inch gypsum wall board and then you can give it a 1200 a 1210 1220 1230 you might have type x or double layer type x or however you want it so that's why but these numbers are just arbitrary you can make this you know uh, any number you want and generally I print this out and I stick it on the wall uh, by my computer and then I append this so you can even take this and cut and paste this into a spreadsheet make your own company set of priorities because you're going to start to use more materials than what are listed in here as far as components go and then you can start to wedge your own stuff inside of here and you might not necessarily agree with this but this is a good starting point uh, for your wall component priorities and then this is the end result so this only happens if they engage in the cleanup once they do engage in the cleanup they start comparing oh I've got an 800 well I've got an 800 the 800s then clean up oh I've got an 810 I've got an 810 they clean up oh I've got a 300 I don't have a 300 so then it will cut through the other side um, so we have to pay attention so there's really nothing uh, complicated it's just a number and the numbers are broken up and wide enough apart where you can expand upon the list I guess is the idea there so I can just minimize that so we add these numbers in just by swiping in here there's no pick list or a drop down or anything you just simply type in a number swipe in here and make that number different and then when this wall meets another wall you know even though it says CMU stud gypsum wall board this really doesn't mean anything to the computer the computer only knows the index number and the priority and it knows its thicknesses but this really is only for the user end information they don't really care what we type in CMU here or stud we can type whatever we want this is what ADT wants to look at is these priorities and it compares the priorities and that's exactly what's taking place in all of these different wall styles First of all, they're on the same Z location. The line, you see the baseline, that baseline crosses with this baseline right at that point, which means, okay, let's have a conversation. What do you got? Well, this one says, oh, I've only got, you know, a 400. Well, you know, and then you can compare and have a look at that. So nothing, I'm not going to do any uh, big drafting in this tutorial. That's about all I wanted to do was explain how the priorities work, print out that list, Give yourself some room, put some spaces in there, add your own in. Every office should have a kind of a set of standards and we can create our own priorities. And then that gets embedded in the wall style itself. If you want one slightly different, then you can always go into your style manager and copy it, right? You can go down here to wall styles. Maybe you want slightly different, right click on here, copy, and then we'll do a right click paste. And then we can go in and maybe change that priority. For some reason, I want that one to be a little bit different, okay? Copy, go back up here, right click, paste. And then I'll have a CMU2 right over uh, here or down a little bit lower, wherever it went. I've done a lot of copying. Um, and then you can go into here and then you can right click or you can just actually click on it. My computer is going a little bit slow here with my recording software going in the background. Um, and then you can go in and say, oh, you're, you know, you're a 310. 
for some reason. Maybe it's fire rated or something. Hit apply, hit OK. Well, now that particular wall will, will uh, the 310 is a higher number, which means it's a lower priority. Okay. Whenever we use wall style standard, we'll notice that it has a priority of one, which means it cuts through. So hopefully uh, that little bit of that sunk in. Have a look at your help menu, read up priorities. Not a big deal once you understand the uh, process of getting it in and how they kind of communicate with one another.